Hi everyone, welcome to this cafe. In this video, we are going to solve a very interesting front-end question to create a polyfill of dot all without wasting any time. You must know that how promise dot all works. So the basic uh, syntax is like promise dot all and here you pass the array of um, tasks yeah for uh, apis api calls and on the dot then part you get the result of each uh, in a form of array for example uh, data one data two data three and so on depending upon the uh, number of tasks or the array you have provided there and if any of the uh, api calls fail then uh, this this part particularly learns only the dot catch part of the promise dot all method and in that you get the error message and it's up to you about how you want to handle the error okay so this is the overall structure of promise dot all and if you are not available uh, like confident on the working of promise dot all then i will suggest you to go through the mdn docs once and understand how promise dot all works now once you have proper understanding of how this promise dot all is working now our goal is to create a polyfill of this particular uh, method promise dot all so polyfill is kind of like our own uh, uh, feature of promise dot all from scratch so we have to build this uh, whole logic from scratch and we have to create our own function that performs the task exactly the same way the promise dot all works so let's uh, dive into the code so in this point um first of all we'll create some dummy apis so i'll call it dummy api okay and i'll have a time over and in this part i'll return new promise we will solve or reject the promise again this is how the normal promise uh, works right resolve or reject and in this part what i'll do is i'll add a set timeout okay and in this set timeout i'll resolve this particular uh, api with the output as time and the timeout would be the time parameter we have okay next uh, we have cons um tasks array okay and we have a dummy api saying uh, 1000 milliseconds another saying uh, for example 3000 milliseconds and another saying a uh, 5000 milliseconds okay we have the array of all the api calls take okay, suppose we want to make three api calls one will take one uh, one thousand milliseconds one second another will take three seconds and the third one will take the five seconds now here comes the best part will create our uh, promise polyfill okay function and this will take task array okay and we will store all the outputs of uh, the api calls uh, in a particular uh, variable we will call as output okay this is an array okay and okay this is the part here and next what we'll do is will iterate over task list dot array dot for each 
okay and we will get each element and i'll name the individual element as promise and we also get the index okay index of the current element on which we are iterating okay we are adding task array dot for each so we are iterating over task array so we'll get each element of task array right we'll get this api we'll get this api we'll get this api and in this particular part also we'll also get the index like 0 1 and 2 take the iterator of this particular element so on the for each part what i'll do is I'll promise dot then okay i'll get the data okay so this is how we'll get how we got this so because in each element is a promise in itself right so the moment i do promise so i get the element dummy api which is a uh, which is a uh, returned promise okay so dot then will uh, enter into this promise particular and will try to execute it okay so i'll do promise dot then data and what i'll do is i'll say output output of index equals to data and i'll check that if index equals to um task array dot length minus one so we'll check that if index equals to task array dot line minus one then resolve this with um, output okay because at the end we need to get this array output right once uh, like this is the part where i'm checking that if i've iterated over every element now in the last element i just need to resolve this whole promise out okay i just need to pro uh, resolve um okay wait so in this also we need to create one small promise okay so i'll what i'll do is return new promise reject okay and i'll move this whole code or inside there this is fine okay so this we have a uh, this promise we have a promise over here and in this promise we have created a output array we are iterating over each array element and i am fulfilling each promise okay and once the promise is fulfilled what i am doing is that if um, if the we have completed iterated over every element then uh, we have to resolve this promise with the output array right and if there is a catch so and if there is a catch right we got a error so i need to reject this with an error okay i think this part is done over here and what i need to do is i need to call promise polyfill and i will pass the task array dot then i'll get data okay and i'll say soul so uh, output is uh okay if there is a catch then i'll say console dot log the error is error okay so now let's try to run this once and see if it's working so I'll say node promise all the JS fine. 
this work perfectly fine and if you are still confused uh, like if it's happening properly i'll place um, console.log here also okay and i'll call data is okay so data is thousand data is three thousand data is five thousand and finally we got the output the moment we uh, get the output of this final call the promise automatically get resolved quickly and we get the final array as the output right so this was how uh, we create a polyfill of promise dot all and if you have any questions then do let me know in the comments i'll try to answer them and do like the video if, if you found this uh, problem interesting and you find my solution uh, uh, understandable and uh, do uh, share this channel with your friends and peer and see you. Uh, till then uh, take care goodbye see you in the next video